Hey guys, it's Skilljim. I've got a big one here today. That's what she said. But seriously, this is a really big parcel. I'm using the 0.5 setting on my iPhone. Um, so that's why you're seeing all this sort of mess over here. These are cardboard boxes that I'm using for packaging and, and whatnot. You see me record player there and a bit of floor space there. But we're going to crack into this. This is from Amazon Japan. You've probably seen the title now to know what it is. Um, a little bit unusual in the fact that it's not really a Sega item. And you know me, I cover a lot of Sega Shenmue sort of stuff on this channel. Unboxings and whatnot. But Sega are kind of related to this. Um, probably better. Just ripping that down rather than using my titanium butter knife. Like that. So I first saw this pop up on Twitter from the official Japanese Sega account and I think they must have some sort of affiliation with hang on a second you can kind of see what it is it's a dartboard but it's not just any dartboard it's a special darts live home which I believe is a brand new version of the popular darts live series of dartboards in Japan I'm not too sure why this hasn't caught on so much outside of Japan because it's awesome, you know, it's, it's, it's really awesome. And I'm gonna tell you, give you a little bit of context as to why I bought this particular thing. But let's just move this big parcel out of the way, packaging. I'm gonna go back to the, might be able to do it live actually. Can we go back to the one? There we go. And just adjust my camera a little bit like I normally do. And we zoom in slightly just to get the table there. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Cool. Right, guys, so there's some other stuff in the box as well. Just some excellent things. Ooh, that was a big box. Extra little things I happen to have picked up to go with this particular dartboard. So let's take a look at the dartboard itself. So, yeah, some context behind this. So, me and a group of friends, fellow Shemu fans, we met up. A few weeks ago in London, played some darts <laughs> at a place called, ooh, what's it called? Flight Club, okay. Now in Flight Club, very similar to this, you've got dartboards that are like soft tip. They go in these, they stick, they're not like sharp pointy things that go on cork. This is all like plastic. And um, it's kind of all automated in Flight Club with cameras and whatnot. So you see replays of uh, your darts going in on, you know, well, CGI, some camera angles <laughs> um, that you see where your dart went. And uh, it's a very good detection system. And this is sort of like a home version of that sort of setup. So in Japan, there's these arcades that are like literally just darts live, dart boards that people go. And they're connected to the internet and obviously you're playing darts on your own a bit lonely kind of thing but you're playing online with other people as well so who have these dartboards are playing in another sort of online environment arcade sort of experience playing one-to-one -one. so now yeah you can take this home and um, i'm hoping that we're going to get into this we're going to see everything that's inside here we're going to connect it up we're going to connect the app that comes with it because this is a particular app version where you can play uh, various games on your own or online uh, or with friends and I believe there's some sort of a, like a camera element to it as well so obviously if you're playing online at home you could just walk up to the board and put your darts in treble 20 and you know pretend that you got them but like I say because there's a, a camera aspect oh bloody hell that's locked me on there sorry about that apologies nice zoomed in Follicle, <laughs> follicles, whatever they're called. Um, but yeah, because there's a... Oh, I'm off my hand now. Because there's um, that camera aspect, you can make sure that no one's actually cheating. If that makes sense. So, let's see how... Even this box is quite a hefty thing. Now, in my way, so let's go to this padding inside here. And let's just have a quick check what we've got inside here. So there is sort of like a USB to 
Uh, ooh, is that a USB mini thing? Or, I, don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what these cable connection things. I'm not Mr. Cable Man. Cable Guy, rather. There's um, something else in there, actually. A pack of these screws. So, obviously, if you want to um, screw it into your wall or screw it into some sort of um, unit, it comes pre prepared with those. Obviously, the wire and the dartboard itself and there's actually nothing else within the box there so you don't get dots as expected so why it's there you go focus is back there uh I'll have a check of the box there i don't know if i showed it off so as you can see it's in both english and japanese why is it not focused though come on this is like the new iphone and it's got good camera light but it keeps focusing in and out of stuff thinking it's been helpful. So home dartboard with online function that connects players across the world, additional contents available via the app links. Link system allows players to enjoy better darts live services. New darts live system linked contents will be consistently added via the app. Every update will let the players experience exciting gameplay on their home dartboards as if they were playing at the dart shops. Online matches available across the world right from your home. Enjoy online matches, live match from home with players around the world, play one or zero one, cricket games and turn your home into a competitive tournament stage. Match opponents can be selected. And there, like I was saying, there's your sort of camera element there. So, attractive, realistic graphics and sounds of Dart Live, Darts Live 3. Play darts at home as if you were at a dart shop. Bring the excitement of Darts Live 3 into your home. Enjoy exciting games with stylish award movies and powerful sound. And you've got the contents at the bottom there and the requirements of the device that you're expected to. Crikey, I don't know. Got no room for all this. Sorry guys, oh, there's my hand again. This is gonna be an awesome unboxing video. I'm sure. So package contents there, we've got Darts Live Home Dartboard, 15.5 inch, which is handy to know. So you can make space for it if you're interested. USB type C, that's what I meant, USB cable, screws and anchors, five of each, including one each for spare, so you only need four, it means. So a user manual, installation guide sheet, and warranty card. Dart set, not included, of course. Power source, battery or USB. When using batteries, triple A times two, not included. So, hmm, interestingly, you don't need many batteries for it to work. Normally, uh, you expect sort of a, a Game Gear thing with like six double A things that die in like two minutes. But that's not the case here. So these are your games. You've got 01 games, which are your typical 301, 501, 701, 901, I guess. But it goes all the way up to 1101 and 1501. If you wanted longer game experiences. Cricket, standard cricket. Not too sure on the rules of that. Practice count up, cricket count up. Match, three, five, seven legs. And the live match, you can have the O games, I'm guessing, and the cricket games, so that's pretty cool. So when app update is available, more games and content are scheduled to be added. So system requirements, this is for your mobile phone devices. iOS 13, um, so like I was saying, this is like the brand new dartboard, so this is the most compatible version, really. Um, iOS 13 being the latest. And that's compatible with iPhone and iPad. Android devices, Bluetooth equipped models with Android 9 or higher. I'm not too sure where Android is. I'm not an Android user, so not sure. And for the latest system requirements, visit the website. So note, use Darts Live Pole Stand or other dartboard stands to install the, the board. That was a thing that I was considering, although it's a little bit tricky to get the stand from Japan to the UK. I noticed there wasn't many in stock anywhere on the Amazon uh, Japan website and they are quite pricey these specific dart live stands so I was thinking of considering like making a sort of makeshift thing possibly with one of my cabinets already maybe get rid of a couple of shelves and attach it to you know like the inner section of a storage unit I'll show you in a second what I mean by that that's my plan we'll see how it works probably won't do that in this video just because that's going to require a little bit of work to do obviously to get things installed like that but i just want to show the darts board off for now and uh, try the app in a minute i'm going to get the ipad and we're going to try the game out and see that everything works okay and that's literally it there basically 
Um, so yeah, so nothing on the sides. Not that anyone's that interested in boxes, but I thought the uh, actual instructions and uh, features of the board there would be quite interesting to know. So here is the dartboard. I'm gonna take it out of this bag. Now these are quite pricey. I've kind of been peer pressured by my peers, <laughs> as it were. So if anyone's familiar with them, I don't know, I'm gonna give them a shout out. But yeah, so we went to Flight Club, like we are saying earlier, myself, Paddy, Sheephead, Scribe, and you know, Matt. Matt Oliver, of course. And uh, yeah, we had a great time playing Flight Club Darts and specifically Scribe and Paddy when I showed them this, I, I, I showed them the Sega tweet that this was a thing coming out, being released. I think it was like the end of October. This was only just come out. Oh, only just came out sort of last week. And uh, yeah, they were all like really on board. Let's get one. Let's get one each. We could play each other online. We love darts, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought sounds like a cracking idea. If I can find some fucking wall space or wherever I can put this bloody board and actually play it. I'd, I'd love to do that because, you know, I love darts myself. So I can actually feel, at least in that one, that's a little bit loose there. Yeah, a few of them are quite loose. So I'm assuming there's some sort of pressure points underneath these things, the pads that record where the darts have actually landed and hit. And that's going to relay the information via Bluetooth to the app, to the game, online, and you're going to get, like, real-time score updates so you don't have to have... You know, the math out there of some blokes standing same 180 next to you as you play. So like I say, it doesn't come with darts. So I kind of knew that going in. So this is what this pack is. So I bought a starter kit and I didn't really do too much research in what sort of stuff I needed. Apart from... You know how you're on Amazon and it'll say like, these are recommended products or these are typically what I bought most often with these products. So I basically just went off that and I picked up this start kit, which has got the darts. I'm not too sure what we're looking at, tips or flights or whatever. And I also bought a pack of these. I picked the purple ones here, just thought they were quite cool. That's quite a, a good pack of spares in case any get damaged, broken. Or, uh, I'm not. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% familiar on this. So kind of just diving in at the deep end, seeing how this goes. But I'm really looking forward to getting this set up. And um, funnily enough, the people that are excited about it haven't even bloody bought one yet. So hopefully, when they see this video and they realise how real this actually is. And uh, they're kind of committed now to uh, going out of the way to buy them on themselves. So we can actually play some darts. Please. <laughs> so we've got shafts there. Um, I'm not 100% like I say what's going on here. Okay, so this is the guidebook that comes with it. It's all in Japanese, of course. I'm not going to attempt to read it on camera because I'm going to embarrass myself, especially with some of these kanji that I do recognise. But I'm also wary of um, mispronouncing and looking a fool to people that actually do know kanji. So we're going to go through this just to show you. So that obviously that is one of the darts live boards there that you'd expect to see in an arcade. Um, showing you a dart. So you've got the barrel, the flight, the shaft. So that makes a little bit more sense. And the tip there. You've got the darts board itself. Um and uh buru not sure Auta Auta Buru Ah Buru Ah en Enna 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 Ball Outer Ball for God's sake man Honestly, Katakana, you read it, it just doesn't make sense the first time you read it for some reason. I wonder, with these words in Japanese, this is going a little bit of a 
just oof, off the different topic altogether here, but are these like <laughs> inner and like outer? Obviously, I'm pretty sure they must have words for those things themselves. They're just using this as a bit of like English lingo kind of thing. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Maybe they do refer to these things as these specifically, but do people just know that? Or are they reading that like I've just read that in Japan and go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they'd need to know the English word as well, right? In it, outer. For that to even make sense in katakana. Maybe. I don't know. Unless we're obviously just taught those words. Uh, <laughs> that's a different topic, I, I suppose. Just an interesting thing there, like inner ball, outer ball. It kind of sounds like something that you'd need to know before you read it, if that makes sense. It's like one of those words that you need to understand the lingo and seeing it in katakana is just a little bit thingy. I don't know if you need to see the English word or the... I'm getting whatever, carry on. So yeah, here we go. Um, it's telling you how far away that you should be, distance-wise, height-wise, so you can set up your room, kind of that style, if you want the same sort of experience. This is how to hold a dart. Um, maybe there's a few different ways of holding it, depending on how comfortable it feels. You can try a few different things out. This is how you should be moving your arm when you throw a dart, if you've never thrown a dart before. It's that sort of motion in it. <laughs> Nailed it. And these are the games here. You've got your 01 games, your cricket games, etc. So these are the darts I bought. They were highly rated. Like I say, something that came with this board as a recommendation. Assassin, original Assassin. 85% tungsten. That's metal. So they're going to be quite beefy bastards. And they have got a little bit of weight to them. But you don't want too much weight because, like I say, they are soft tip and... I'm throwing it really at something that I haven't really got the correct environment for, in a sense. Like, I don't want to break the wall with a big, you know, throwing a metal prong towards wood. Uh, what's going on here? See, I'm no real darts expert here. Why aren't they coming out? You'd think they just pop out, wouldn't you? There you go. So is that not, is that not the tip that you'd use if I just bent that? I mean, that looks alright. So obviously these are the flight things. How am I getting this stuff out of here? Okay. God, I wouldn't be using this to put them back. Right ramboed in there. Um, and then, ah, oh, okay, so is that just, what's that, an example thing? Or is that one that I can use? I assume that's one I can use. How am I getting you out? Proper ram these things in here. There we go. So you put one on there. This must be excruciating for an avid dart player watching this video. I apologize. This is uh, just a new toy for Christmas. Uh, like I say, I've been peer pressured into buying. <laughs> but I am looking forward to, to getting it out there. That look right? I don't know, possibly. You can play around with the flights. But these are assassins. I'm going to assassinate you, Paddy, and Scribe. When it comes to uh, actually getting this, I can get a bit of practice in before you actually uh, buy the thing yourselves. Pluck up the courage to fork out 200 quid or whatever it was. But yeah, see, I didn't notice the Sega logo on the box, but there is some sort of... Um, Whether Sega have some sort of deal, I mean, I know these are like mostly in Sega arcades, perhaps, those sort of things. So we've got three dots there. I'm not 100% sold on the flights, as in they might need puffing out a bit. There's your darts holder thing. Harrow's darts technology. So those are the assassins. Let's see, yeah. They are fitting in there. You see that? There you go. Cool. So they do fit in quite nicely. Nice snug sort of fit. So what are these? These are extra flights I bought then. Click flights. 
So obviously you've got these nice assassin-y looking ones, and then you've got some clear ones that are included, some extra shafts, which I think is that black piece there. So I'm not sure what the difference is going off the judginess of that. These are a bit more plastic rather than, oh, this bit would still be metal, wouldn't it, if I unscrewed that? So yeah, maybe just some extra spares, part of the pack there, not too concerned with what they are. And then these are, like I was saying, some extra tips there. Um, so yeah, they would screw into there. Have some nice purple tips with a little bit of I don't know, they've got some sort of extra grip on there or some sort of ribbon, rib, rib nature, nature to them. Um, yeah. So that is everything there, guys, in a nutshell. So the dartboard, let's have a quick check of the back, see what the crack is here. So we've got four screw holes, and like I say, there was four particular screws that they wanted you to screw into, but you've also got these rack hole disease. So what is going to happen there then? Because you don't want to just screw it directly to your wall in the middle of the board, right? You'd want to have a bit of dispersion around there to... Because it seems like if you had... If, you know what I'm, I'm saying there? If it all stuck in the middle there, I feel like that's putting too much pressure on the middle where you could spread them around for... Uh, or... I don't really know, you know. So like I say, I'm not going to get the set up in this particular video. I'll probably do a second part to this where I show you the actual setup once it's complete, screwed into a wall or into... I'll show you that actually quickly, what my, my plan was there. So I'm just going to take you around here. So my plan was, over this side of my room, I've got this sort of collection of Sonic um, sort of figures and stuff going on here. So if I was to... Height-wise, I'm thinking dartboard-wise, I might need to cut a few of this Sonic down. But if I got rid of all the shelf, which is mainly just figures, and then this shelf, which has just got a few Switch games there, some PSP games, and some other little figures. See, I'm a little bit lacking of space in my office for that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure I could just disperse these around my room a little bit or... You know, I might actually get rid of the Assassin's Creed figures. I've gone off the boil of Assassin's Creed as of lately. I quite like these Resident Evil Funko Pops. I might keep them out somewhere. All these Funko Pops pretty cool and some of the Sonic stuff. I can probably condense down a bit there. See, I've got space above the Sonic thing there. It's not really well organized in a way that um, is maximizing space there. And a few more down there, I could probably squeeze some things knocking about there or you know on shelves on the left there where my xbox games are so my idea was then i've got from this section here probably to put a dartboard i believe the ball roughly speaking is sort of in line with eye line if that makes sense obviously we'll do the measurements from what the guide is suggesting height wise and stuff but then that gives me the depth of my office more so than the width. Um, obviously, the other idea was move this um, painting, Sonic, into the house, perhaps. I did suggest here, but as you can see, I've got a radiator here and probably the heat going up onto it is, isn't ideal. Um, actually, let's just test this board. Oh, it's quite heavy. So yeah, it could fit actually between there and the light. We didn't want to do it too close to the light because obviously you've got wires that coming off that you don't want to be drilling into the wall and electrocute yourself. But actually there is space between, what am I doing there? Between that sort of indent of the window there and the light switch, as you can see there is space there. So that could be a factor and I could have that there, but then I'm using the width of my room, which, um, can't really show you very well at the moment just because I've got a few things in my way but that is the idea so I've got two sort of suggested things there I think ideal one would be there and then I've got a nice sort of um, unit there it's not being drilled directly into the wall you can get a, a put it to the backing of this particular unit and then like I say I've got 
um, a very good amount of room then behind me. Um, must be about 10 feet behind me, I would have thought. So that's more than enough space to play darts. So yeah, that's the plan guys. Let's test out the app that is included with the darts board, get it set up, I'll plug it in and um, I'll probably just throw stuff like I've just been doing and just seeing how it works when it works. Just spotted this was inside the packaging as well guys, something I completely missed. So this is a user manual for the dartboard. So let's have a quick check through this. This might even have the information about the app, how to download it, where to download it from, etc. So we've got a contents. So this is like, that must be like a quick guide. And uh, this is the more in-depth version. You can see it's quite a big PC. Let's just check our going sections. So, so this is user manual for 16 or older. We've got content of Darts Live Home. So the board, the manual, and the USB-C cable and the screws and stuff. Some safety use. So again, you notice it's in Japanese and English. Um, so here we go. So we've got part name of the dartboard. Okay, so these are all the bits. We know all this sort of stuff, don't you? Bottom there. Oh, so there's a USB port at the bottom. I didn't even notice that. And there is actually a change button. Um, let me just quickly show you on the dartboard. Let's stuff on there a second. So, oops. Finding the bloody camera now. Let's put that still a second. So, yeah, here... Oh, okay. Can we zoom out a little bit? Fuck's sake. You're nudging the bloody camera. How do we zoom out? Okay, so we zoomed out a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we zoomed out a little bit. So you can see there's a, a USB port thing there. Looks like there's a power button underneath. Um, doesn't press, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Just notice this. That's the compartment for the batteries there. So yeah, two AAA batteries. So that's pretty easy to do. So you can either keep it plugged in charged. Ooh, that's a thing. If I put it in that shelf area there, how am I going to plug it in and how am I going to keep replacing the batteries on the back? So there must be an easy way to keep disconnecting this from your setup. And I noticed there's like a change thing there. I'm not sure if that's a press button and it changes something in particular. Who knows? Um, oh, let me carry on. Let me go back to the Oh my god, this camera, there we go. A little bit out of sync there now. A little bit more. There we go. Uh, still a little bit off, end, actually. I think it was a bit further in than that. It keeps coming up with the bloody light thing. I don't want to increase the brightness. There we go. Um, right. So next. Why did I fold this back up? <laughs> okay. So... Two and one, I wonder what it's saying here for this sort of stuff. Why are we in bloody French now? French. Oh, okay. That's all in Japanese. Hang on. Ah, oh, this is a... That's a French sheet for some reason. This is the one I was looking at too. <laughs> I didn't fold it up. So what we got? We got one and two. About the parts. Okay, so holes to mount the board. So those are the four holes there in these battery slots. So I wonder what those are in the middle right there that I thought were screws. We've got a low battery sleep mode, low battery warning. The LED indicator next to the power supply button flashes when the battery is low. If the voltage goes down further, the board will go to sleep. Replacement batteries is recommended. Operation in the sleep mode, there is no action. If there is no action on the board for longer than two hours at a stretch, the board will go into sleep mode. LED will be put off, Bluetooth will be disabled. When an action is made on the board, it comes up. Oh, it comes out of the sleep mode. Okay. Um, so let's start Darts Live Home. So prepare the dartboard. Installation. Install the dartboard in the appropriate location according to the attached installation guide. The attached installation guide is here, so we'll have a check of that in a moment. So, once you've attached it, you insert either two AAA batteries or connect the dartboard with the USB cable, and then press button to turn the power on. Prepare the app. 
So you need to download Start Live Home. So this app here, I was just checking because it's been a couple of days. Um, I need to, as far as I'm aware, log into iTunes on a Japanese account to download this app. So I'm going to do that in a moment and I'll talk through what I actually did to get this to, to work. So, because because if you search Darts Live Home on the UK store, nothing comes up. Well, Darts Live stuff does come up, but it's not this particular app, and I want to make sure I get the right app. So you need to make a Darts Live account now, log in. Uh, if you don't, that's how you do it there. How to play, turn the power on. So that is that button. Touch the power button at the bottom of the dartboard for one second. Turn the power button for two seconds to turn it off. Touch it, sorry. Refer to board preparation. Okay, check the connection status. Make sure the LED is blinking red. Start the app. Pairing complete your device to be paired via Bluetooth. Make sure that it goes green. Okay, let's play. So it sounds fairly straightforward once you've got the bloody thing up and running. So let's check. So this is an installation guide and this is actual size. Okay, so this is pretty handy. So you can um, use this as a, a way to mark where you want your points to go. So that, that is really handy actually. So you put that on the wall. Um, and then probably like poke a pencil through or something just to draw those holes that's where you want to nail them. So yeah, okay, so it looks like it is that, that bag of screws. So these things, like I said, there's five of these because they give you one spare. So four of these, we're going to put one there, one there, one there, one there, and that's going to mount the board onto your wall or whatever you're planning on doing to a cupboard or something. Let's wait to see what it says down there. So how to install dartboard. Number one, measure. 79.13 inches from the floor right so that must be the actual height uh, and put this insulation guide aligning its dashed line to the point of the wall dashed line is there to the point of the wall what does that mean dashed line um okay so judging by the picture there it looks like you measure that from the floor and then the top part of the sheet, possibly. Ah, the dashed line up here. There you go, yeah, that makes more sense. Just because I didn't have it fully unfolded there, you can see what I'm on about there, there's the dashed line. So you'd measure that up to your wall, 79.13 inches, very specific. Um, and then that's your installation guide. Got to kind of keep it straight as best as you can. Why is my camera like blink doing a weird blinkiness? Is that bulb about to crash? No. Seems okay, unless it was that brightness shit I've just messed about with. Okay, so take the four included screws out of them, out, oh, out and put them on the marks. Fasten the screws. Oh, okay. So you could probably blue tack this up to your wall, as long as you've got the measurement spot on, and then you can literally screw through the paper to find your points. Remove the sheet from the wall and put the dark light home using the mounting holes on its back. Yeah, shake the board horizontally a little to make sure it's firmly installed with the four points. So you've got to leave some of the screws. Ah, okay, so yeah, leave five millimeters of the screw on show. The throw line should be 96.06 inches away from the dartboard surface or 117.76 inches on the ball. That's very specific as well. I mean, you'd probably just do the floor on, right? In addition, the back plate has mounting holes for the dartboard brackets. Dartboard bracket samples sold separately. So there's a wall side and a board side. So not sure what the difference is there, but that is those metal hole things I was on about in the back of the, the dartboard. So that seems like it's another um, additional piece of equipment that you can buy and use that to mount it possibly uh, without using this is that like a separate way of mounting the board or is that like additional sort of holder holdness what's the word clampness <laughs> um and there's a warranty certificate so yeah it shouldn't be too bad actually then to measure the right um well measurements for the board because you've got this nice gadget there so next we're going to i'm going to go away now for a little minute and i'm going to figure out how to get a japanese account up and running i've done it in the past i'm just going to have to retrace my steps and do it um again so i can download the dot um 
Darts Live Home app. And then we're going to test that out before I, I close this video. I'm not going to install the dartboard on this video. I'm just going to do that, show you the app for a little bit, and then, you know, we'll probably be getting on for about an hour then. So <laughs> I don't want to make a too, too big of a video. So see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, we're back with the last part of the video. We're going to be testing the dartboard out momentarily. So firstly, I've managed to get two AA batteries. We're going to try the battery aspect to this rather than the, the cable, rather than the USB cable, I mean. I'm just going to spin the dot board over for a second. And I'm going to put, can't show you, there you go. Just going to pop the batteries in at the bottom. Just two AAA batteries. So that's fairly easy to sort out. There we go. And I've managed to download the app for the iPad. It was a little bit more complicated than I was expecting. So basically, the app isn't on the UK store. There's other apps that look similar that might work, but I wanted to make sure we got the correct app, which is the Darts Live Home for this particular board. And that was only available, that I could tell at least, on the Japanese um, iTunes, uh, well, App Store or whatever. I'm, I'm sure it's even easier on Android devices because you could probably just download it from um, you know you know doesn't even have to be like such a stupid little Apple store where you've got to have your account linked to the country that you're getting the app from so what I had to do was create a second Apple ID and I just chose my country region as Japan and I just used a different email address that I've got for that one signed up to that and then I logged out of my wife's Apple ID on the iPad which sounds scary when you're doing it because it prompts you saying that you're going to lose content on the thing, make sure you've got it backed up to the iCloud and photos and all that sort of stuff. So I was a little bit hesitant of actually doing that, but I double checked all the photos and everything are on the iCloud. So I went ahead, logged out and then logged in as the Japanese ID. And then the on the app store, I'll show you actually, that's what I'll get it up. I've, um, I've since logged out and logged back in after downloading it, so um, it does stay on both IDs. So now I'm back on my wife's ID, the app, you can see the app's actually there. Um, I can't show you actually on the store because I, I doubt it's going to show. But basically, when you go to download, it just asks you to add some additional information like a Japanese address and your name in phonetic alphabet. So basically, um, Long story short, just go on to, just tap in Google, um, name in Japanese, katakana or something like that, yeah? And then it'll load a website where you can type, say James, my name's James obviously, type James in, hit convert, it'll do it into Japanese katakana. And you want the alphabet, alphabetic version of that. So my name comes out as like James Zoo, okay? So instead of, copying and pasting the actual Japanese katakana characters just next to it, at least on this website that I went, it was like the the alphabetical version. So there was like a, a J, E or something and, you know, that sort of stuff, actual English characters. And you want to copy and paste that into your Apple ID information when you're trying to download the app. And then um, Japanese address, I just Googled one and just put that in and it worked. So that's fine. Um, I have done a post previously on phantomriversnow.com on how to download this Sega app a while back but it seems that the um, the app store has changed since then so it wasn't as easy but if I probably will link that post below it's a similar sort of thing and there's also an image down below of how to do the name converter and the exact address information that will just work if you want to uh, specifically use that that same address anyway that's how i did it i've logged back onto my wife's account and it seems to be working fine so we've got the app here i had to make an account just as i was going into this so it's very simple email address password activate through email uh, you don't need anything japanese specific there and it's all in english so that, that's what why so so strange that they haven't just put this on the uk store really because all of it's in english and then I've registered my name, Skill Gym. I don't know why I'm so out of breath, by the way. I've just done some vacuuming, <laughs> um, running up and downstairs. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be out of breath just by talking. 
So we've registered the name and this is as far as I've got, so let's see what happens next. So how to connect the dartboard. Touch the power mark at the bottom of the board for one second and turn the power on. Let me see if I can get this in the... Um, I'm just going to zoom out very slightly, hopefully my head and stuff doesn't overlap, but you can see these... Oh, this is the change, actually the power button is just here. There we go, we've got a green light. Um, I don't know if you can see. Um, is, can you see that green line? There's a green light here anyway. You have to believe me there. It went red and then it went green. Oop. So let's have a look. So touch the power mark at the bottom of the board for one second and turn the power on. Move on to the top menu of the app when the LED light of the board is flashing red. Flashing red. If the LED lamp changes to green, connection has been completed. Pairing with your device is not needed. Eh? Turn power. Wait a minute. The home board. That's the one we've got. We've not got the 2000s, the 200s. You touch the power at the bottom of the board for one second, which I did. Turns the power on, it went red, and it went green. So if the LED lamp changes to green, connection has been completed. Surely not. Login bonus, so we've got 10 of something, 10 W's. Account, let me see. So yeah, there's my email address, free trial member. So look at the missions. So this is loading the website here. Challenge yourself with a mission, you can collect darts live miles. Oh, so that was a, was that a, a, an M? Yeah, an M. Miles. Okay, so missions are updated every day. Okay, so today's new missions. Hit a low ton one time. Not sure what that is. Play cricket count at one time. And earn 300 or more in count up singles only. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we're still in time for the Sonic campaign. Nice. Sonic the Hedgehog 30th Anniversary Collaboration Campaign. Uh, this year marks 30 years since the birth of Sonic. So maybe this is the um, actual Sega connection. I did see this the other day. To commemorate this, get a collaborative campaign with Darts Live will be launched. Get exclusive digital contents from the campaign. Oh, we get an app theme, mate. Oh, we've got, we need 12,000 points to buy that, though. Oh, mate, I don't think I've got time. How to play. Collect miles and missions, exchange. Mission. Oh, how are we supposed to get... If this is a daily, and my max here is 60, 90, 120, I've got 10, so that would be 130 just today. And we need this 12, 000, well, 1,200. Insufficient miles. Oh, mate. I don't know if I've got time to do this then. How many days are left? It's the 14th today. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We've got eight days and I can get 120 miles a day, possibly. Is that enough? I don't think that's enough, is it? We need 10 days. I wonder if there's stuff that you can earn miles within the game as well, hopefully. Uh, let's go back to the game anyway. I would have liked to have got all of that stuff actually. Uh, maybe we, maybe there's other ways of getting miles. <clears throat> New feature missions and darts miles starts. Login bonus will change from coins to miles. Okay. Let me turn the volume up actually, so you guys can hear some of these sounds. So these are the games here. I'd like to know how it knows we're connected. To this particular dartboard. The dartboard is green, like I say. So there's your languages. Machine specs, standard or high. What does that mean? I wonder if that is the device that you work, um, you, you're playing with. Maybe if you've got like a really top-end Mac, um, iPad Mini or something. Which I don't think we. Well, this might be okay, I suppose. Wood movies on, auto chains on. Let's try a single game then and just see if it actually registers. I'm going to try practice. So set player data to save game data. Each player's data will be saved and available by going to home player. 
So select a game, count up cricket, half it, or finish trade. Let's try count up. Select number of players. We're going to play as one player. Game start, is that? Count up. <clears throat> It appears to be. Let's give it a go anyway. So, what I'm going to do is drop darts into the board and just see if it works, yeah? Oh, okay. Well, we got a seven. It didn't stick in the board, but we did. It is working. Wow. Let's try a triple ball. Triple ball? What am I on? Bullseye. Actually, it's. Not the best, just going downwards. One and five. So it's counting up. Game prediction. So is it as many as you can get? I'm guessing. So it's projecting. Predicting. <laughs> we're going to get 420. Let me see how good it is at recognizing a bullseye just by putting it in it. Ah. Oh. Amazing. That's a low ton. Oh, we're going to get some some miles, aren't we? <laughs> See if you want to get some quick miles. That's a, that's a trick for you there. Bull again. I'm just too good, mate. Oh, I wouldn't count it as the bull. Um, but I bet that was only 25. I wasn't actually counting the points, but 19. Another low ton. I wonder if that's because I've got two balls. <laughs> Round five, let's go for the treble twenties. Completely missed it. Oh, we got it. Treble twenty. Treble twenty. Treble twenty, one hundred eighty boys. <laughs> Look at that! 3 dot 180! So yeah, I mean, how many rounds have we got? Let's just play through it all quickly. Oh, Christ. Need to actually properly drop them from a distance. I mean, obviously, it's going to be a bit weird just on its... You're not supposed to... Can't even throw the darts. You get the idea, you get the general idea when this is like final round, okay? When this is actually hung up on your wall and you can physically throw darts into the board. So we finished on a 616 there, which just turn that down a second. I'm probably never ever gonna beat again. <laughs> just because I'm not gonna be throwing a triple 180, whatever. Um but yeah, pretty cool. Mission, oh crap, I should have seen what that was. I'm, I'm assuming that was... Oh, we've got 100 miles. Let me check the missions again then. So this is going to be the addictive aspect of it. So we got the mission clear there, the 60 low ton, and we got the th in 300 points or more in count up right. So the only one we've got is this play cricket count up one time, and it actually ends in six hours, so... Ooh, I bet that's because Japan are like nine hours ahead. So that would be, what time are we on here? That would be midnight. That makes sense uh, in Japan. So like, a, would it be midnight? Yeah, nine hours ahead. So yeah, that would be midnight in Japan. So that's when a new day starts. So uh, I don't think we've got enough time now to get this, which is such a shame. I'd love this actual app theme. Imagine having a Sonic 30th Darts Live app screen forever. The movie's 800. Limited edition Darts Live cards. Five winners will be ch chosen by a lucky draw. Unless there's more ways of getting dark miles. Let me see if I can figure out if we can earn miles somewhere else. <clears throat> this is all I want to do now. <laughs> I just want to get 1,200 miles before it ends and get the Sonic theme. Coins. Mile store. 
Is there any way of gaining? So it looks like we've got a free trial here. It says 30 days remaining. Great fun will be yours. The monthly fee is as little as a price of a cup of coffee. Great deals. Got Darts Live Premium Membership. Get all of the attention at the shop with your outstanding dart performance. Just playing darts with friends is good. So it's whatever it is, it's $2.99 a month to, um, dollars. So that's like probably about two quid. Um, it depends what you know, your actual benefits are of being a premium member. I mean, we probably won't be able to tell until I've finished. Hopefully it's not just being able to play. Um, coin information. I'm not quite sure what you can use coins for. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a shame. Is there not a way of earning more dark, uh, miles? I'm going to have to research that, see if we can earn some more miles somewhere else, because if it's just dailies, unless they do like a, a good day where there's like more than 120 miles available, um, I can't see how we're going to um, earn enough points to get all the Sonic stuff there, which is a little bit of a shame. makes me wish I'd set this up a couple of days ago now because we would have had enough time with two more days right uh, either way let's try the what was it it was cricket I think it wanted us to play standard cricket a game to hit designated areas when all of the areas are hit the player or has the highest score wins let's give it a go then game start so hopefully it'll tell us what's going on here but this is pretty cool so um Wondering if I've got room. Let me move this stuff out the way. Let's see if I've got room to put this. Because obviously when you're playing the darts game, you want your board to one side and um, the app out on the other there. Is that all in, in view? It is actually, that's cool. So, okay, brill. So, round one. It looks like it wants us to get those numbers, 20 to ball maybe. Let's try getting the 20. So we've marked off 20. Let's get 19. Oh, we actually got a double 19. And 18. Oh, missed and got a one. Let's see what that actually does. So yeah, we, we missed with the third dart then. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, oh, we, just pulling the darts out, I've missed actually, which isn't, isn't cool. 18. So we've got an 18. And a 17 is there. Two so I have to pull these out quick before it registers as a, <laughs> another dart. Okay, um, so let's get a 16. And a 15. And the ball to finish, see if I can do it from here. Oh, does that count? That counts by the looks of it. Oh, just, uh, that's a little bit annoying. What's the pressure like? So it is registering the actual pressure of the the pads there. So what else do I need? I've got everything right. Let me get another ball. That was a miss. There's a ball. And 15. Oh, it looks like you have to get three of everything then. 15. 16. It's just until the rounds are up as well, like so. 17. Let's go for a double. Ooh, nearly. Not quickly. 17. Uh, 18. If we can get a double. Another one. Nice. Obviously, it's not going to be this easy. I'm throwing from about a centimeter away. <laughs> 19 and 20. Ooh, just missed. This isn't the last round, is it? No, okay, so we can go. Oh, I've got a treble 20 anyway. Smashed it, mate. Finish. Ooh. So there's the stats. Let's see what this says. Graph. Okay. Home. Um. Did that count for the, the miles? What was the mission again? I thought it just said play cricket. 
Was it count up? No, we did count up. Play cricket count up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just end with that, guys. I'm just going to play that quickly. So cricket. Let's try count up. How do we do cricket count up? Cricket count up. There we go. Players need to hit the designated numbers in each round. The one with the high score wins. Okay. Game start. Cricket count up. I'm going to be checking tomorrow to see if I can get more miles. <laughs> more than 120. Shoot at 20. Ooh. Got you. Got you. Ah. Round two, shoot at 19. Um. Nice. Round three, shoot at 18. Missed. Completely missed. Got you. Wonder if that counts. Yeah, shoot at 17. Got you. Got you. Try a triple. Missed. 16. Nice treble to end with. Shoot at 15. So it's very precise when you, you you notice like it. I was like right on the border there, and it didn't know, didn't think it was a triple. I mean, shoot at ball, missed. Got one. Like it knows you're hitting in the final things there. Shoot at any cricket numbers. Two missed. Got the ball, and I did get the twenty, but it popped out. Looks like it counts still. So yeah, very, very cool. I like, I mean, if you've ever been to one of these darts places like Flight Club or whatever, where you've got the actual score that, it, oops, that it's keeping track of. Um, yeah, it feels very much like that. Very, very good. Nice being able to play it in your house. You've got some more mi uh, miles. Um, let's double check that, make sure. 130 miles, so it's good how it updates um, instantly there. There's a, a fun aspect to the miles earning. This is at missions. It'd be nice if more missions come after you cleared three. That one's cleared. Anything else? No, we're all cleared for today. Mission update. Triple miles if you want. You can update them. You can update through. You can use coins to update a new mission. When you update a mission, all the missions you have not yet completed will be replaced. The updated mission will expire at the end of the day. Let's see how much this costs. <laughs> I'm going to have to be doing this. So how much is it to refresh? 200. Right? Not enough coins. So if I did that one, 9.99. They're robbing bastards, aren't they? I'm already fucking thinking about putting money into this. I, obviously, I would not normally, but because there's this Sonic 30th competition thing going on, and I know full well I've not got enough days, I'm going to have to do some... Oh, shit. Not that one. Go back. It's just auto-paid. <laughs> accidental tap. Yeah, so I'll work it out. I'll get a calculator out and stuff and see exactly. I mean, I'll know better. Well, I'm, I think i am end up having to go for that $10, $10 one. That's probably because you get six refreshes, which is going to be more than enough to probably even get all of that Sonic stuff. So uh, I'm going to be doing that, actually, to get the Sonic-themed app and all of the other little bonuses that come there and the chance to win some Sonic cards as well. Um, yeah, exciting stuff, guys. So if I do do another video in the future, it's going to be when we've installed this board into um, however I'm expecting to do it, probably in that cupboard thing that I showed you about. Uh, I think that'll be a perfect spot for it, and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to play this actually properly. It's going to feel like having that sort of arcade dart experience in your house, and the app works there. So once you've installed the app, you can log out of that Japanese account, log into the account that you're actually using, and I have double-checked all the photos and everything are there, all the apps. Nothing seems to have changed really, so uh, despite Apple kind of worrying me there, 
uh, with what they were saying when you were signing out of the account. Um, I just don't think they want you to have more than one account really because um, they want you to, to feel pressured into having a device uh, per you know everything that you want to do. So in theory, I could have been worried about that and thought, oh, you know, fuck it, I'll buy another iPad and I'll just use that as a dedicated Darts Live iPad, which some people do. If you look at the setups on Google Images and stuff, some have got some really nice Darts Live setups, big wooden frames and, you know, really nice installed an iPad into it as well. So um, I'm, I'm not going to get that obsessed, I don't think, with it. I'm just going to play it, enjoy it, and um, just use the iPad, bring the iPad in and... Um, who knows? Maybe I will. Uh, I really like darts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's more than enough for me. Earning miles every day, unlocking Sonic things and other stuff with the app. It's going to be fun just playing darts on your own, playing darts online with friends. We'll try that out. Like I say, if I do another video, uh, probably I've got this installed. We can get someone else like Paddy or something to have had his and installed his. We can maybe play him online and I'll show you the actual online experience of one of these darts live boards. So if you do want to get one of these, it's not an affiliate link, it's just, I'll just link, um, I'll link all the stuff actually that I actually picked up, just so if this looks like something perfect for your home that you want to install yourself, get this kind of darts experience, and some of the extra things that you've seen in this video that you thought, yeah, I'd, I'd like those, to get those things myself, sorry I'm out of breath, <laughs> um, so these assassin darts, um, these ribbed for pleasure tips uh, and uh, these extra flights and stuff. Like I say, that was all like a sort of a starter kit. At least that stuff was the starter kit and then these were just additional tips. I thought I'll get some purple ones, man, they're pretty cool. Um, could have tried those out. I mean, it's not too difficult to give them a quick try just as I end this video. But yeah, guys, uh, check all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get into these. I thought this might just open like that, but we might need some scissors there. You have got that resealable aspect. I think you pretty much get the picture. That's just going to screw into there, and we're going to have like a purple tip dart. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And until the next video that I do, where, whatever that may be Sega, Sonic, Shamu, more dart stuff in the future. Hope you subscribe and check it out. Cheers.